my name is Lee Hollins. I'm a retired battalion chief from Cedar Hammock Fire Rescue in Manatee County, Florida. I'd like to talk to you today, share an old knowledge uh, as far as a training tip for you. I'm here today in Yulee, Florida, which is in far northeast Florida. If you cross the St. Mary's River, you're in Georgia. So I'm teaching the Nassau County Fire Department today, and we're learning about gasoline tankers. I have a two-part article coming out in Fire Engineering Magazine. Check it out, November's part one, uh, part two, probably after the first of the year, on the response to gasoline tank emergencies. I want to share some knowledge with you concerning this tanker. This is a single wall multi-compartment tanker. It's made of aluminum. There is no issue with Blevy. We all know what Blevy is. This is single wall. There's multiple holes in each compartment at the top for access and at the bottom for product. So we don't have a problem with Blevy with this tank. So I want to talk to you briefly about vapor versus liquid. <clears throat> the, uh, the, the, the situation with this tanker, let's say that you had a brake fire here that spread to the tires and you rolled up and you have a pretty good fire at the back of this tanker. You want to put that fire out as soon as you can, preferably with some fire extinguisher, CO2, dry chem, try to get this knocked down. If this compartment is empty, what's going to happen is this compartment aluminum will melt away. You might have a flash of vapor when it goes through, but you're not going to have an explosion. You're not going to have a blevy. And if this is going to burn away and basically you got tire fire. If this is liquid behind here, that will not allow the fire to penetrate that aluminum. That liquid will keep that aluminum cool, so you don't have a big problem with that. The problem is getting this tire fire put out. Also, this tanker that's loaded will not be supported by that landing gear, those legs. So you don't want to drive that tractor off with a loaded tanker. You're going to, you're going to make a situation much worse. Also, if you had a fire underneath this tanker, how do you tell if it's vapor or liquid? With vapor on fire, you're not going to have smoke. If it's liquid, you're going to have a lot of smoke. You're going to see that for blocks away. You're going to see thick black smoke because it's liquid burning. So. That's the tanker uh, training tip for today. I appreciate your time. Thank you very much. Have a good day.